Well, good morning everyone. How's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the Frankenstein here, or as what it soon will be, the Genetry Solar 5 kilowatt inverter. Um, I posted a video this morning doing a load of laundry test. For those of you who don't know, um, a resistive element dryer a clothes dryer it uses between 4500 watts and about 5200 watts just depending now the heating elements are not on all the time they're typically on about half of the time and um, this uh, this inverter was able to do an entire load a uh, full hour um, without a problem now what I will say to that end is that I am not sure if the five kilowatts continuous would have caused the transformer to continue to rise in temperature. Um, I actually still have the data here because I haven't reset this inverter. Um, I'm actually running my entire house on it right now. Um, the uh, You can see here that the temperature max was 161.3 degrees at the transformer. Um, now to me personally that's pretty dang hot. Uh, some other people would say, oh, well, as long as it doesn't go over 170 or 180, then you're fine, you know, whatever. Um, now, I will say another thing. This fan, while it is blowing air directly over the transformer, it is not optimally positioned. This is an 8-kilowatt chassis here, a PowerJack 8-kilowatt chassis. And if you can see here, you can see that the transformer is actually not centered with this fan the reason is because we are designing a case with the measurements in mind so that this transformer is as close to the main board as possible there's about a a one inch gap between the main board and the transformer so in order to make that happen in an eight kilowatt unit i had to move the transformer back to take my measurements and stuff like that plus i cut the wires uh to approximate length etc etc so you can see here there's a lot of um, empty space here that we're not going to need and this fan position is not directly above the transformer so it's kind of blowing air on the side of the transformer not so much directly down the middle of the transformer which would be optimal so i don't know yet if moving this fan more center would actually have a enough of an impact to to be able to manage the heat from the transformer i don't know that yet i have to do some more testing i have to figure out um you know what's really going on with this and i'm probably what i'm going to end up do is i'm going to end up shifting the transformer forward just for the test so that the fan is directly above the transformer and then that'll give me a better idea so right now to be perfectly honest with you I'm not 100% confident yet that this inverter will handle 5 kilowatts continuous. Yes, it will do a load of laundry at 5 kilowatts, but keep in mind the heating element is not on during that entire one hour run. So while I have proven that it can run a load of laundry, so if that's what you were concerned about, then it will definitely do a load of laundry, but will it do 5 kilowatts continuous yet? I still don't know that. I already know that it'll perfectly manage about 25 to 3,000 watts continuous uh, without any issues at all. It, it, you know, I had my two window air conditioners running, which are running constantly, and actually I was running them on one leg. Uh, so I had one leg pegged, and it was managing that load perfectly fine. Uh, temperatures, I think, peaked at around 130 degrees. Uh, so that is a good sign right there. However, I still have not been able to do a consistent 5 kilowatt continuous load on this inverter. I'm confident, but at the same time, I'm not about to push something to market, whereas I advertise it as such and then it not perform as such. The goal is to be able to have 5 kilowatts on this inverter running continuously. Now, the fans did get pretty loud so that's the that's the downside if you're looking for a quiet inverter this is definitely not going to do it for you um, these fans work really hard to push all that hot air out of that transformer 
So um, in order for that to obviously happen, noise is going to be an issue. But I'll keep on saying it over and over and over again. You should never push your inverter to redline all the time. What we are basically telling you is that this inverter is capable of 5 kilowatts continuous all day, all night. But it's always good to give yourself some headroom. If you purchase an inverter like this with the intentions of always having 5 kilowatts on it, then you're asking for the fans to be at you know full peg all the time. And you know, depending on your ambient temperature, you know, your room, the room that you're in is going to heat up. So, you know, this is just going to be spewing hot air out. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of factors to consider that you want to get an appropriately sized inverter. I would still recommend that you stay between 50 and 75% of the rated load. Yes, I'm confident that this will do five kilowatts continuous but any inverter that i build or put together or sell or whatever i always recommend to my customers no more than 50 to 75 percent of the rated load that gives you some headroom let's say that you've got in my example i had two air conditioners running at the same time okay so i'm pulling you know let's say two thousand watts or so and then uh, a laser printer comes on well if you got your inverter pegged while the laser printer is printing isn't going to consume a lot starting it up is going to be a huge impact and if the inverter is already heated up to its max and the fets are working as hard as they can to deliver that power and then you just knock it with that surge right there well, then it's a good possibility that you're toast after that. So having a little bit of headroom is, is important in any equipment. And I would say that with anything, uh, uh, you know, an Ames inverter, Yian, Signeer, what doesn't matter what you purchase, um, it's always a good idea to size your inverter for some headroom to give you that, you know, that extra cushion to take the extra surges, even if your inverter has been working hard all day. So anyways, I'm still going to advertise this as being 5 kilowatts continuous, but my recommendations are if you're going to be pushing this beyond 4 kilowatts continuously, and I mean continuously, 24-7, then you might want to consider stepping up a notch. Not that the inverter won't handle it, but it's going to produce a lot of heat, it's going to be very loud, and you're essentially, you know, you're pushing the inverter to its absolute limit, and, um... That's, uh, you know, obviously not always recommended. You want to make sure that you've got a little bit of headroom. So anyway, enough about that. Uh, I'm going to continue my testing over the next couple of days. Um, obviously, I'm going to be unavailable over the weekend. Uh, so the important thing to, to, to realize is that I am never going to market an inverter that won't do what I say it does. And I'm going to be extremely transparent. When I say five kilowatts continuous i mean sun up to sundown week after week 365 okay that's what i mean so uh you know it'll do five kilowatts continuous we're gonna have all the wire appropriately sized and cut so i'm not gonna have a whole spider web of wire in there so it's gonna be appropriately sized and cut it's going to be located in you know, a, a, a perfect, uh, an, an area where it's, where it's wrapped so that it can have the most airflow as possible. The case is going to be perfectly sized for it. It's going to be as optimal as possible. Yes, we are going to be using this style of connector here, the high output style that you find on the, uh, the power jack units, the larger ones. And we're going to have two main outputs that are American plugs that are fused to 15 amps. So you'll be able to use L1, L2 to 3,000 watts. And then if you want anything more than that, you have to use the high output connections for safety. So anyways, um, I'll keep you updated with more tests. So far, so good. I got to do some more here. Uh, I really have to see if this uh, inverter is capable of 5 kilowatts continuous. It's looking promising right now. I'm going to probably move this transformer up a little bit so that I can get that air to flow right into that transformer rather than kind of blowing on the side of it a little bit 
so we'll get that taken care of and yeah just be looking forward for more uh you know videos so um 833 genetry toll free monday through friday 9 to 4 p.m my phone system now shuts off at 4 p.m and uh, if you have power jack questions as far as you need service or support or warranty please see the original seller if you need replacement parts for your power jack converter of course i can help you with those and um yeah thanks for all of your support and take care